tonight at CBS 2 Exclusive. Oh, how long I was knocked out? I didn't know I owed my ass. I didn't feel nothing but bricks on my body. He was nearly crushed to death when part of a building collapsed. It's hard to breathe. It was hard to breathe out. <sighs> His outer body moment. I threw the brick off my leg. As I tried to get up, my leg broke. But like so much going through my body, journey going through my body, I jump up. And on losing his dad. See, I'm that broken the inside of it though, like, I'm broke. He lost everything. His father, his home, his belongings. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the survivor of the building collapse two weeks ago on the city's west side. Yeah, Archer Monterey is live in East Garfield Park where the harrowing account is in this CBS2 exclusive. Jermont. Brad and Erica, this building no longer exists. It's been demolished since the deadly collapse. Anthony Wright Jr., for him, this block, this spot, it held so many memories for his family for so many years. Tonight, now it's one of the darkest memories of his life. And he is opening up to us exclusively about what he remembers. Every time I close my eyes, I see, I see me, my daddy, my uncle on that porch, and we hear a brick fall. And I'm looking at my daddy trying to, trying to run, but he can't make it. Take a look at the scene Anthony Wright Jr. keeps replaying. If these images of heavy slabs of concrete look horrific, imagine how it felt. It was hard to breathe. I was, <sighs> and that looking, I was looking like I'm still in shock, though, but the bricks all on my body, though. It was April 12th. Anthony, his father, Anthony Sr., along with his uncle James, were all sitting on the porch of the family building. He don't usually sit on the porch like that. And it felt good that day, so we get they want to get some else on the porch. Yet, while enjoying the breeze, Anthony recalls a crackling sound. Next thing you know, something fell. Boom. We all look say, damn. When that brick fell, like everything started shaking. The, the building started shaking. We just say, what the hell? My dad tried to get to the door. Boom. He didn't get to the door. It's like people throwing bricks at you, and you couldn't just miss them bricks. It's like you couldn't just duck and dodge them at all. It's like they kept just hitting, hitting. All three get trapped under the heavy stones. The impact broke the stairs, sending Anthony's dad and all the concrete to the basement. I'm calling my dad's name, calling my dad. I'm calling his name, calling his name, calling his name. He, Jane said, get this off me. Jane like, help me, get this off me. My dad said, get this off me. You feel me? After that, I ain't hear my daddy no more. A stone knocked Anthony unconscious briefly, and when he came to, he recalls praying to God. I asked God, like, I asked God, like, this how I'm finna die? He tell me, no, get up. And get up, I don't know where the strength come from. I got up. He was able to do something even bystanders told us that day they couldn't do. But this slab. Anthony credits his faith. How much pain are you in right now? Oh, a whole lot of pain, thriving every day, all night. After surgery to his shin, my real bruise right now. Anthony tells me his faith in God and support from his girlfriend is helping him on the road to recovery and the unimaginable loss of his father. The building is no longer standing, but Anthony hopes to stand on his feet without crutches soon. I'm broken. I've never been broken like this before. Now, Anthony has a very long road to recovery. He's currently in therapy to learn how to walk again. Now, since getting out of the hospital, he told me that he came back to what was his house just once, and he broke down, telling me that he can no longer drive down Jackson here. He considered his father his best friend and just wishes he could have done something to save him. Reporting live in East Garfield Park tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont. Thank you. Moments after it collapsed, the CBS2 investigators researched the building's records. We know that in 2015, the building failed inspection and was cited for eight different violations. That included failing to maintain the exterior walls, and the inspector found the first through third floors had washed out mortar. To see Jermont's full interview, head to CBSChicago.com or download our app, CBS Chicago.